law of conservation of momentum. We know from Newton's third law that the forces work in pair. And also we have seen how they act and react. So when there is a collision, how these pair of forces act and react. So we will understand from this law. So before understanding, let's see, there is a truck which is going in one direction and it hits a stationary car. Let's say the car is actually a small car but it is stationary car. It is at rest. Whereas the truck is moving and hits a stationary car. So the truck is a moving truck. What will happen now? When it hits a stationary car, the car starts moving because of the impact. The impact makes the car move. Whatever the velocity it is, but it moves. And the truck velocity, what happens since it had hit an object, its velocity goes down. So, in the truck case, the velocity goes down. In the car case, the velocity increases. So, when the velocity goes down, since momentum is proportional to velocity, so the momentum also goes down here. And here, the momentum goes up. Momentum is represented by P, we are all aware. So, momentum also acts in the same manner as velocity. Now, let us see, we understand from this example that the change in velocity, as we also are aware from second law, gives rise to change in momentum. And from Newton's second law, we know that the force is mass into acceleration, which is nothing but acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity in the time t. So, basically it is ft is equal to m into change in velocity. This f and time is called as impulse. And this is the change in momentum of the body. This relationship between impulse and change in momentum gives rise to the conservation of momentum and let's understand how that one works. Let us take a billiards table wherein we have different balls. Let's say there is a, a blue ball and there is a red ball and the red ball is moving and collides with the blue ball. What happens after the collision? When these two balls collide and both the balls will move in different direction. So, let us say, so what happens actually, the red ball moves here, let us say the blue ball moves here. In different directions, both the balls move. Now that we know that when there is a collision of this ball, red ball with the blue ball, they move with an impulse or with a force exerted on each other, move in different directions. What it means? During the fraction of a second, the balls are in actual contact. It is not in contact for a long time. It is just for a fraction of a second they are in contact. And when that contact happens, when that impact happens, they even change its shape, maybe from the round to a little compressed and then it springs back to its original shape of sphere and each exerts a force on the other. So, red exerts a force on blue, blue ball exerts a force on red ball and then change its speed and direction. So, the force that exerts by red ball on the blue ball and blue ball on the red ball gives rise to the change in the speed and also the direction which it takes for the moment. So, when we know that this billiards, in the billiards game, how these balls exert the forces on each other and how they move. So, with this example, 
what we understand is during the collision each ball receives an impulse blue ball receives an impulse from red ball and red ball receives an impulse from blue ball and both these force the impulse are equal only the difference is this will be in opposite direction impulse is also a vector quantity like a force which is depending on velocity we understand that each ball goes through a change in momentum equal and opposite to the change of momentum of the other ball so we see that these changes when we add up they add up to zero so whatever the red ball in incorporates on the blue ball the change in momentum and what blue ball exerts on the red ball the change in momentum are equal so when you add up these two it becomes zero because they are in opposite direction now see how we derive the law of conservation so in the same example before collision let us say the mass of the red ball is mr and velocity of the red ball is ur and before collision that of blue ball it is mb and ub now after collision and the mass is the same it doesn't change whereas the velocity changes to vr and blue ball the mass is mb same and velocity changes to vb now we said as per third law of newton the force before collision is equal to force after collision as per third law it means force before collision is action force after collision is reaction or it is nothing but the impulse before collision and impulse after collision so if you see what is the impulse before collision is for the blue ball is equal to mass of the blue ball into change in velocity of the blue ball which is vb minus ub and that of red ball it is mr into vr minus ur now we know that the force before collision or impulse before collision and force of, of the blue ball and of the red ball are equal so making these two equal we get fb is equal to fr therefore mb vb minus ub is equal to mr into vr minus u r that is of the blue ball the impulse is equal to of the red ball impulse but here there is one thing which we need to understand is these forces act in opposite direction hence there is a negative sign since f b is equal to minus f r so on expanding we get m b v b minus mb ub is equal to minus mr vr plus mr ur so if we redo these things as before collision and after collision then we get mr ur plus mb ub is equal to mr vr plus mb vb so this is the total momentum before collision this is momentum of red ball 
before collision. This is momentum of blue ball before collision. This is momentum of red ball after collision, momentum of blue ball after collision. So, we understand that these two adding together will give us the total momentum before collision for both the objects. So, this gives us total momentum before collision of both the objects is equal to total momentum after collision for both the objects. So, total momentum before collision is equal to total momentum after collision for both the objects. So, from this we can state the law of conservation of momentum. What the law of conservation of momentum states is that when two or more bodies act upon one another, their total momentum remains constant or conserved provided no external forces are acting. Or we can say in a simple words, momentum is never created not destroyed. Let us see some simple examples. We can say working of the rocket wherein the gases are released and which will create a high velocity and that high velocity will propels the rocket upward in the opposite direction and with the same momentum. In the same manner a jet aeroplane. So even in this jet aeroplane case we have the gases produced by the combustion fuel is escaped in the backward direction creating a very high speed or velocity which will give rise to a large momentum. The impact of this will make the jet aeroplane move forward with a very high speed. 